Finding good voice dictation software, especially for Microsoft Windows, has been a pain point. I've tried various softwares, whether it's Dragon or, you know, these one-off programs or things that are baked into other software, and I just hadn't found anything that I could reliably use until recently. Today, I want to share what I've been using, how I've been using it, and how I think you can get the most out of this to speed up your workflows and be more productive. Okay, we are gonna start with a little bit of an example just to kick things off and to show you what this can do right away. It's already running on my computer. We'll get into more of the details about what it can do, how it works. I'm gonna hit my recording button and I'm just gonna record myself talking through the intro a little bit as I use Aqua Voice on my Windows machine and I talk through basically what I want to do. I'm not gonna do any formatting or anything like that right now, but I'm gonna stop recording and I am now going to right click, copy the last transcript. Let's open up a notepad and then we will dump it in there. And it has got it going right there, exactly what I was saying. It works really, really quickly. Now, what you can also do with this is you don't have to right click and copy and paste. You could have it in a text prompt. Maybe um, you're talking to uh, a Google Doc or you're using um, Notion or anything else and it will just dump the text into what you're using. It is super, super handy, it's fast, and as you can see, it works really well. So I mentioned this in the intro, but you know, it's been something I've wanted. I've wanted some good voice dictation software. And even with the advent of ChatGPT, you know, or GPT-3, the we were starting to see a lot of this AI stuff. I hadn't seen much on the voice side that worked really well and was just meant for literal productivity and just speeding things up. And I, with Aqua, this has changed. Um, I, it's a tool that I'm using regularly. Um, again, I have tried various tools over time and I just haven't found anything that was kind of push button easy. Um, I don't want to have to uh, build something myself. I want something that's native to Windows and just works. And this is uh, available on more than just Windows, but for myself on my desktop, that's what I use. And it has just been really, really nice. So that's what we're gonna be talking about some more today. So instead of me trying to pretend like I understand everything that's going on behind the scenes with this, I do want to hit some of the high points. Um, and you know I'm gonna rely on what they say here um, about the Fusion transcription and the client context engine because all that means to me and all it needs to mean to me in a good way is that it's the most accurate speech to text uh, system that I've seen and that I have personally used. And what I like too is that it can have context based on what's on the screen, the application that you're using. Um, and you can also use, um, and this is a big point, I'll probably come back to this later, but you can use natural language to do formatting. Uh, there isn't, you know, like a set um, keyword that you have to use to do something. Like you don't have to say insert bullet point you know, uh, format or something exactly like that in order to get it, you can be talking and be like, oh, that thing I just mentioned, put that into bullet points. And it's going to get it from the context and do that. So uh, really powerful, really nice to be able to do this. And it does allow you to be more relaxed and just, you know, flow from the mind instead of having to kind of be thinking about how you're doing it, which for me was a hang up with a lot of voice dictation software is very difficult to even try to format. I basically gave up and never you know, learned the right keywords or anything because I basically had to relearn it, it felt like. So it wasn't to me a great way of doing it. Um, also their latency, this is really, really fast. Um, I've been enjoying this, it's, it's fast. I record something, even if it's several paragraphs, I stop recording and it's literally just a second or two and it's done. Um, so really enjoying that. So let's talk some more about uh, some of the features. I'm gonna bring into the window here, we're gonna see this is the actual application window and we've got a few settings, okay? You can, um, you can change the hotkeys, you know, buttons, things like that. You see, of course, it doesn't have to stay the same. You can hold F8 to dictate into any text box. Obviously, you need to use your mouse, your trackpad, whatever to click into it or you can just record and then copy it out and put it into something as well. Uh, something else you can do is double hit the activation key and it will just stay on until you hit it again to stop it. So for example, if you're gonna be talking for a while or you need to take a pause, you could just leave it on, 
you know, talk through it, think through what you, you know, you need next, talk, and then when you're done, hit the end. And that can be really handy. And the way um, that billing works, depending on what plan you use, it's based on uh, words. So it doesn't matter if you take a break, um, you know, for 30 seconds, it's not like you've got a timer counting down or anything like that. Over here, um, you've got deep context. You can turn this on or off. I mentioned this where you can use the context from your screen to boost transcription accuracy. Um, so, you know, it gives a little literal context of what it is that you're doing in case there might be some language, some verbiage that uh, otherwise may be confusing. Um, uh, the, show the floating bar, that's what you see down here. Um, so you can click to start the dictation or you can hold your hotkey down or double tap it. Um, and then you can turn sounds on and off, which can be handy to let you know things are actually happening. All right, let's move on to dictionary. I just added my name, um, but you can add words. If you're maybe uh, working with um, something that's fairly niche and you have some uh, vocabulary that may not be well understood or it's hard to pronounce, things like that, you can add that in there. Um, that could be really handy. I haven't had to make a uh, big use of that, but I really understand you know, the, um, the power behind that. And then custom instructions, this is great. With any AI tool, as you um, go on in time, you can add to this and make it more and more powerful. Uh, so I said, you know, don't start sentences with and or because. I Just a formatting thing, I could probably take that out and be just fine. Um, I did put this in when I'm dictating into chat GPT, Claude, or any LLM. I just want the transcription in case I use the word, um, you know, prompt or I do something. I generally want exactly what I'm saying to be put into there. Um, and then I also like text broken into paragraphs and it understands how to do that and just naturally breaks the text into paragraphs instead of getting uh, one big long chunk of text. Um, in the history, you can look into this and you know you can go in here and um, you know you can copy it back out, you can delete it from your history, um, you can give feedback, which is really helpful. And basically that's it in terms of what you need to configure. And I say that's it, and I mean that in a really good way. Like what part of what makes me really happy about using Aqua is that it's just simple. You download it, right? You install it and you start using it. And for me, it's been really, really nice after a long time of kind of wanting the voice dictation tool that this is now working so well. So let's give some real world applications. So I've pulled up a uh, Gmail. This is, I'm in my Productivity Academy email and let's see how this works. I'm gonna go ahead and do this. So I double tapped the F8 and I am now dictating an email that I want to send from my Productivity Academy uh, email address. So I think that something important I should put in here is that it knows that it's in an email inbox, but I might still ask it to format it as an email. Now that's really about all I wanna do, but let's also put in, um, Put in a bullet point and add bananas and apples to the bullet points. Format this like an email. Cool. I think I didn't let it uh, go too much uh, there uh, or let it think on it long enough, but it added the bullet points um, and it's got it formatted in there. And if we wanted to do something a little bit more realistic, part of it is confusing because I'm kind of talking to the video, kind of doing a little of this and that. Um, but when I've used it before, it, it does, and it's actually an email again, and it matches kind of what it would expect for an email. It's done a really, really good job, um, including a sign off with my name. Um, so let's talk about a couple more ways you can use this. In the background, I have brought up Cursor. Uh, it's a program that I've been trying out for building some helpful scripts, things to do things like what you see on here is a Python application to create summaries of video content. And over here, I can put in and talk to it and have it do things for me. Um, so let's record something like this. I would like to add on to this Python application and add a nice user interface that is filled with smiley faces so that the person using it is very happy. 
All right, now obviously that isn't the craziest example of how to use coding tools. There are many more videos about how to use uh, voice dictation powerfully with coding tools, but I just wanna show you that no matter where you're using this, this is really helpful where you can enter it directly into the text field or a text entry field. And you could also just sit back and kind of have a conversation. And I think that that's important to realize, again, whether you're using uh, an LLM, whether you're using a tool that has it, or you're just trying to brain dump. And I think that that is, again, one of the really powerful ones where I talk about this a lot in the context of journaling and getting things out of your head that maybe you wouldn't have the time to write down. And one of those things that comes to mind for me that I used voice dictation for today uh, was a doctor's appointment and I just wanted to have the notes from myself about what happened during the doctor's appointment and things I wanted to remember for next time. And so it was really handy just to quickly grab that, toss it into my notes, and then I didn't have to spend the time typing it, just added a tag to it and I was done. And that is such a time saver and much easier than sitting there and typing it all out. I can just kind of, you know, put it out in words in 30 seconds and I'm done. So overall, I would say that this is uh, a big time saver for me. I haven't been using it long enough to give an actual quantitative number to this, but what I can say is it is making things much easier and smoother um, when it comes to text entry and especially things that I need to think through and I no longer have to take the time to maybe write part of it out, go back and edit. I can kind of do a lot of this on the fly and then sometimes just clean up uh, the text when it comes out. Uh, the quality has been really good. So when I talk about cleanup, it's generally my own ideas that need cleaning up and potentially a little bit of organization. Uh, it's also nice too, where maybe it's later in the day and either my, you know, my hands are getting tired, anything like that, where if I've been on the computer all day, it's nice to just turn this on, talk, have it do its thing, and then go on from there. So I would say that this is a great tool if you're like me, if you're on the computer a lot, if you're using a, uh, anything conversational, um, especially large language models, or if you're uh, doing a lot of text entry that is based on your own thoughts, that could be task delegation in the team. Um, where it needs to be written down. Perhaps you're putting into, into a project management software for a team. Uh, if you are dictating uh, emails or just about anything else, I think that this is, is such a smooth piece of software that is gonna enable uh, your productivity to really increase. So I would just say, check it out. And if you have any questions, comments specifically about Aqua, how I'm using it, how you could use it, um, things maybe I forgot to include that you think would be interesting, just leave a comment below and I will get back to you. Thanks for watching.